Hey guys, today we're going to be doing an after Christmas haul. These are the things that we picked up from our Christmas money that we got. Typically I do my what I got for Christmas on my beauty channel. That is more of like our goodie box and things that like we actually got for Christmas. Uh, this is more of like what we used our Christmas money for. So I thought I would go ahead and share with you what all we got with our Christmas money. Okay, so one of the first things that we got is something that I've been wanting to pick up for a long time. It's just a matching kitchen utensil set. I've kind of had pieced together sets for a long time now that we just have over in a stainless steel container. And it's worked for, for us for this long, but I really wanted to get one that matched. So we picked up the Mainstays Kitchen Tool and Caddy Set. So it comes with a large um, little divided container to hold things. And then it has a bunch of utensils in it. Also has measuring cups and um, like a pizza cutter and all kinds of stuff. So I thought that was cool. It does have a spatula. And then I also um, got one of these Farberware soft grip spatulas that um, I'm going to see on them if you can hear it. It's, it's kind of a zoo in my house. This one only comes with one spatula, so I decided to get another one so that we would have a couple of them. Also picked up a new can opener. This one is Hamilton Beach um, stainless steel. I don't know. It looked good. It was like a fairly decent price. We have a can opener, and it works when it wants to. Uh, we got it for our housewarming back when we first moved in together in our apartment. We've lived in this house seven years and we've been together for ten. So that shows you how long ago we had our can opener. And it worked great, but it's very finicky. It works when it wants to and not when it doesn't want to. So we picked up a new can opener. I feel like this is a housewarming all in and of itself. I also picked up a candy thermometer. When I was baking for Christmas last week, I I was making toffee and I needed a candy thermometer and I don't have one so this is like four dollars and I thought it would be nice to pick it up. It also has on here like the different temperatures that you need to make the candy at and stuff and it also does deep fry. So I thought that was really neat so I picked that up. And then this is also something that I've been wanting. It's a cheese slicer. I like to buy the cheese in the block. I like it better. It's much cheaper by the block than buying it like deli style. When the deli cuts it, it's just really expensive. And when you buy it deli cut in the cheese aisle, it's more expensive than if you buy the block and cut it yourself. So this is a Farberware professional cheese slicer. So I thought that was kind of cool if you like to slice your own cheese, which we do. So we picked up that. And then we also picked up a new colander. This one is Farberware. And um, this is kind of cool because it's red. We have a lot of red in our house. And it extends so it fits over your sink and then you pour your pasta in and it also can just sit on something if you need it to. Um, so yeah, I just thought it was really neat and it was pretty inexpensive. I mean, pretty much everything that we picked up at Walmart was inexpensive enough that we had plenty of money from our Christmas money to pick up all these little odds and ends that we've been wanting to pick up. So this is also something that I've been wanting, which is kind of random, but this one in particular, I just, I just really wanted a dispenser. This one in particular is the Pioneer Woman, um, and it's just really cute. It comes with two one-gallon dispensers. And this particular one comes with a little ice bin beneath it if you want to keep them cold. But I really just wanted the dispenser. So, yeah, got that. I think that was like $28. That's great for parties and stuff. But um, you could also just make punch and put it in your fridge in one of the little gallon things. So I thought that was cute. I saw the other day, if you guys follow me on my vlogs regularly, then the other day you saw that I have one of these like ugly Christmas sweater print um, plushes. We had found one when we went the after Christmas shopping the day after Christmas um, and it was like $30 and it was the size of a queen size bed. I don't need one that large. So we got this one um, that is 50 by 60 so it's not even... I don't even think that's long enough to do like a twin size bed. It's just mainly like a throw. And it's in this ugly Christmas sweater print. I don't know exactly what it's called, but it's like Sherpa on one side and then like a, a really nice fleecy material on the other. And it's Christmassy and I thought it was kind of cool because it, it has navy blue in it and you guys know I'm obsessed with navy. So we picked up that. And I actually don't know if that was on 50% off since it was Christmas, but we got it anyway. I also got a set of the stainless steel measuring cups. Right now I have a pair, a, two sets of pink and a set of uh, 
like lime green or something. And I, they're nice, I like them, but the measuring like stuff is starting to come off on them and I thought it would be nice just to have a matching stainless steel pair or one set and then just be done with it. So I got this from Mainstay and it just comes with a quarter, a half, three fourths, and um, a cup. Also got a set of spatulas. I realized when I was baking for Christmas that I don't have enough spatulas. So I picked up a four pack from Mainstay. It's just the the cheapy generic brand that they have there, but a lot of their stuff is really nice. And then another thing that we really desperately needed was bowls. And I've already taken these out of their package, but it was um, stainless steel. I don't remember the brand on these because I wanted to look at them, but it was a set of stainless steel bowls and they came with six total. So it's like two large bowls and they're nice because they have this like bronze color on the outside. Two large bowls, two medium bowls, and two smaller bowls. And they nest into each other like this. And what's nice about this is they're stainless steel. You don't have to worry about them like, you know, breaking or anything like that. And we can make salads in here. We can use them for baking. They're just nice to have. Might have been trying to show these. This just new some New Year's little, um, like a headband for New Year's. And then I also bought this pack of like Happy New Year's blowers and um, hats and stuff like that since we're doing New Year's Eve over here. So Amres just did Autumn's um, room like to get her bed and stuff, her crib going and we realized we need curtains for her room because right now she has like a dark brown. So we picked up these Your Zone rosette curtains and they're really pretty because they have like roses up at the top panel. And then the bottom part of it is just like a chiffon texture. So I got two of those to kind of hang up in her room. And then I also picked up this for the girls. It's a three-tier wire shelf. And I picked up this for their bathroom. And I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to put in here yet. But I thought like washcloths and maybe like their toothbrush stuff and hair ties or something in here. So I'm going to put this sitting on their bathroom. And then the last thing that I got were a bunch of baking sheets that I'm super excited about because I have not bought baking sheets in many, many years. And over the years, they have just kind of rust or got burnt through or they just weren't very good quality and got bent. So I picked up some nice, not necessarily like super good quality. I mean, they're from Walmart. So I picked up the nicest ones from Walmart that you could buy. And they're the Wilson brand. Now, I like this brand because they're all about baking and stuff. So I thought this would be good. And I love the fact that they have like a, a large lip on each side. So you can easily hold them. So I got two of the, these ones are the large baking pans and it's 16 by 12. I got two of those. I got two of the medium baking pans, which is 15 uh, by 10. So two of those. And I figured this would be nice just to make like small things and then bigger items on the large size. I picked up a 12 inch diameter pizza pan, uh, which we could have used this yesterday when we were making pizzas. I also picked up the 16 inch diameter pizza pan, if I ever was making a larger pizza. And then I also bought this mega baking sheet, which is 13 by 20. So this would be like if you're baking a huge batch of something, you could use this. And then I also currently have two sets of 24, like 24 per set of the mini cupcakes. And then I also have two of the 24 regular cupcakes. Now in my drawer underneath my stove, it's super packed and it barely fits what I have because I have duplicates that don't fit within each other like they're burnt up they have like stains all over them that don't come off they're just not they weren't good pants to begin with so they don't fit in there so I got all the same brand so they would all stack on top of each other and I wouldn't have an issue so I got the 48 cavity mini muffin pan which usually when you make mini muffins you can make 48 of them because you can double the recipe and then this is the 24 cavity muffin pan. So I got that as well. So that was the stuff that we picked up from Walmart. 
kind of boring for like after you know most people buy makeup and clothes and hair stuff after christmas uh when you own your own home this stuff is super exciting like i was super excited to go and pick this stuff out one thing that we still need is a new trash can ours is busted um so that i didn't like the ones at walmart so we're gonna have to pick them up somewhere else but pretty much we got everything that we needed one thing we also did get which i will pan around and show you guys here in a minute and i showed in a recent um, vlog that was a really expensive purchase um, this stuff was like medium all medium price but our one of our most expensive Christmas purchases was a new spiralizer for the KitchenAid so that was exciting as well so you can put pretty much anything on here he tried it with an apple and it peels let's see what does it do it's the KitchenAid spiralizer with peel core and slice so those are some of the things that we got for our Christmas money for after Christmas sales. Couple of new villages for our village on our entertainment center. A whole bunch of new lights. We got icicle, clear icicles, rainbow icicles, those like color changing lights. I couldn't even tell you a whole bunch. Another village right there, some of those star shooters. We also got a couple of those light up deers and we got a couple of these light up trees and some new bulbs and a new wreath so anyway i hope that you guys enjoyed seeing what we spent our money after christmas on maybe give you some new ideas for some things for your household let me know in the comments below what you thought of it and we'll see you in the next one bye